Hi, and welcome to Assembly Audible. I'm the multimedia editor for Assembly Magazine, Chris Smith. One of the biggest challenges in manufacturing is how to improve productivity and implementing technology successfully. Today's guest can help you find your way and has the key with the blueprint for manufacturing. The president and CEO of Magnet, Ethan Karp. Thanks for joining me today. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, I know you recently launched the Blueprint for Manufacturing. What was the genesis of the program? There are organizations like ours across the country, and yet we all do things slightly differently because manufacturing communities are different, manufacturers are different, but we recognize that there's a beauty and also a power in bringing everyone together. And the idea behind the Blueprint is if we told stories of what the future of manufacturers, particularly small and medium-sized ones, need, that we could bring people together, maybe not doing it the same way, but all going toward common goals, all aligning toward a common vision. And especially in areas where I live, there are dozens of economic development. That's what we are, at economic development organization. There are dozens of economic development initiatives, associations, chambers of commerce, people that wanna build this building or that building. And often they forget about how important manufacturing is to the United States, certainly in our economy where it drives half, half of our local economy is driven by manufacturing. When you have those sorts of stats to ignore manufacturing is really shortchanging the future potential of your region. The blueprint is meant to elevate it so everybody recognizes how critical manufacturing is. And yet there are some really big things that manufacturers and manufacturing needs to do in the future to be healthy in 10 years and to be growing. So what are some of the outlines of the program and, and why should those companies be utilizing this? So it's, it's uh, I have it in front of me. You can go to makeitbetterohio.org and I can tell you that even though it is Ohio centric, it is a blueprint that would work in any manufacturing sector. We are all linked as the disruptions in our supply chain certainly tell us today. <laughs> we are very much intertwined for better or for worse. The four key things that manufacturers need to see and need to change, need to be thinking about, fall into the buckets of talent. This is a no brainer, going from a talent shortage to hopefully a talent surplus. Transformation, and that's really about digitally transforming your factories. That's on the shop floor with all of these buzzwords, big data, industry 4.0, manufacturing 5.0, smart manufacturing. It's all of these technologies that are actually available today that represent the next technology leap for manufacturers, just like PLC controllers before them, just be like the automated you know, assembly line and, and assembly lines in general. These are all technologies that have progressed the field. There's now a whole suite of them that are going to be required to transform companies. The third pillar is innovation. Companies thinking differently about their products and their services, not doing the same thing over and over again that they've done historically, because innovation of products and services, even if you're a contract manufacturer, is truly the lifeblood of differentiation, the lifeblood of competitive advantage. And a lot of our companies, having been around for so long, sometimes tend to forget that they need to continuously innovate. And lastly, leadership. To bring this all together, you need the leadership at a company level to invest in their talent in new ways. And I do mean invest. I mean, it could be wages, but it could also be strategies around how you're promoting people, how you're surrounding them with supports, how much time you're investing in the culture of your company. To listen to this complete interview, check out the Assembly Audible podcast at assemblymag.com. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the latest in the world of assembly. Thanks for watching.